wow, 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 wow. I don't do video editing with the audio, so wow, wow, wow. That's the wah sound there. Uh, welcome to NPC's in, uh, Neo Power Cable uh, Power Calculation Wattage Input Sheet Guide. Um, I'll come up with an acronym for that later to make sense. This is a uh, intro and a quick user guide on how to actually fill out your power um, requirements for the event so that we can output those into the JOT form so that I can intake your power application uh, and then figure out if I can give you power at the event. I intend to, but uh, it all depends on where you're placed and how much power you need. Uh, we do try to take these power apps and review them in a short order and really do request that folks try to keep their loads under five amps. Um, most average users in the mega block or small factions placed outside of the mega block are under three amps. So this process is designed to sort of let you know where your power usage is coming from and how to get it under that five amps. Now, if you're a large faction, um, there I've got a quick and dirty way to get this thing done for, for you folks. And most large factions, this is Kaiju, uh, Maintenance Bay 54, um, Zeke's, uh, we talk directly in this process to just give a big block of power because trying to calculate all the minutia there is much more difficult. So we're working on large breakers with large factions and this form, uh, while it's still used for large factions, is much faster for them. Now, anyway, I'm already wasting too much time with exposition. Let's look at what the form looks like. Single page, one tab. Your form is on the left and a guide is on the right. The guide is here if you're not paying attention to this video. So let's do it. Um, let's go fill out the form. First things first is let's go choose a faction. So let's just do... Uh, I don't know. Rule 34. I haven't there, used them in here yet. Rule 34 is a Neotropolis 2024 faction. Uh, if you're not listed here, which you should be, there's an option for other somewhere right there. You click other and then you can come up here and then type in your other name. Here's a real fun little handy hint, especially for factions that are coming back, but don't quite know how much power they really use. Well, most of those factions we tested last year, and they're included in this form too. So there's rule 34. Uh, names are slightly different, but they're there. Designated small faction. So it's a small faction, not a large faction, with 4.5 requested constant amps. So they, they asked for 4.5 amps last year, and two constant amps were supplied. So while... They wanted 4.5 because that's what the calculator told them they might be using last year. They only actually used two, so way to go, Lolly. So that's a little helpful guide for returning factions to know what kind of power you had last year, what you used. Large factions, say if we went in for um, Outpost 66, which is a faction last year, well, at the space last year, uh, it's a large faction, 40 amps was requested, 40 amps applied. So it's going to be a little bit simpler. Now if you're a large faction, um, just come down here and just write large faction. <laughs> you're one large faction uh, and you're going to have it your power 100% of the time and you're going to ask for, let's say if it was just output 66, which uh, doesn't apply this year, but there we go, 40 amps and the that's just supposed to automatically fill in, so I broke the form. Sorry about that. There we go. 40. 40 and 40. So, wait, that's watts. <laughs> hey, I'll give them 0.36. Anyway, let's convert that from amps to watts. Uh, there's a little calculator down here at the bottom. Didn't expect to do this so soon, so I got confused. But 40 amps is 4400. So, boom, there you go. 4,400 watts for this large faction if it were uh, an output 64 or 60. I combine the two. I am on a. I'm going to drink some more beer. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, I don't want to redo this video one more time. Anyway, that's how a large faction is going to get through this form quick and dirty. Um, 
If we're looking at rule 34, let's go do this real fast. Let's go pull some loads in. So I'm already brought in some loads. So let's just say that uh, we've got these light supply, uh, light LED light power supplies. I'll read it in the right order. So I'm going to write LED light. Um, say there's three of them. We are going to operate them 100% of the time. Again, these are constant loads. We want to keep everything on all the time, even lighting. Um, turning stuff on and off can cause surges in the grid. And since you share a single breaker with your neighbor and your neighbor and another person across the street sometimes, um, a little surge can go a long way to making everyone kind of ticked off at you. So keep the grid stable. Heavy loads or very, very low wattage items might be allowed to do a 50% usage, but we really do need to clear that with the NPCs if you plan on turning stuff on or off. So let's go look at the rated watts. And it has two different little designations here. I'm going to zoom in on this right now. Watts or VA, that's voltage amps. Electricity is kind of like voodoo, and they give you a lot of terms to confuse folks. And these stickers are no exception. So let's go figure out what from this power supply needs to come over to the form. This is a switching power supply. When it says that, it usually means that it can go up and down in power. So what we're going to be looking for is its maximum power rating. The input power is 100 to 240 volts AC. That's the one we want, AC voltage, not DC. The output is DC, so an LED uses DC light. There it is. We don't care about the output. We only want the input, what we plug it into. So 100 to 240 volts AC, 50 to 60 hertz. Don't care about any of that. Boom, 100 VA. Why they didn't put a W on there? Well, because it changes for the voltage, but anyway. 100 VA is the number we want. It's close enough. So we're going to put that, which is our wattage, right there. The form will automatically give the average watts. Now, here's a fun thing. Here, These three lights are taking up 2.73 amps all the way across your surge amps. So when you plug it in, it's definitely going to do that. Its average is 2.73, and what we see on the grid is 2.73. That's a lot of amps. Remember, this is a, a faction that only used, well, I'm going to move the window here, two total amps last year. So how are we going to get that down to two amps? Well, I don't think for this example that's going to work very well because all the things I used are pretty high wattage. Um, but what if we go grab one of these things? And actually test one of our LED strings and say once we run it through here and we click the button function button over and over it actually outputs watts and the watts are 10 per so these LED lights only actually take 10 watts on a hundred amp switching power supply notice now that instead of taking up 2.73 amps that we're not actually using it's really only using 0.27 amps. So that's how you use your average watts, um, is by either using a tester or knowing your piece of equipment. Sometimes it'll give you two ratings. It's a little confusing, but easiest thing to do is put the maximum on there, and then we'll work with you on trying to figure out how to get that power rating down under 5 amps. So that is the, uh, that's the LED power supply. That's all it takes to put it into the form. It's rinse and repeat for everything here on out but I threw some more examples in here just in case you run into something kind of weird. A projector power supply. So let's see, a projector that's a uh, display. So we'll just do projector. These are these tend to be pretty high amperage items, especially if they've got the old incandescent uh, or like xenon lights. Projector, I know how to spell that. We have one projector. Um, it's going to be on all the time because that's how we need to run things at the event. And we look in at the this thing, the input power, 120 AC, excellent, and 220 watt. Thank you for giving me wattage. So 220. And I keep overriding this darn thing on my demo. It will, in your form, automatically calculate the maximum 
uh, and the average at the same time. So that's two amps for this thing. Look down here at the our grid load right now. We're calculated at 2.27. Uh, again, if this was uh, Rule 34 last year, you're over what you actually used last year by 0.27 amps. My guess is if this was actually on your grid last year, it wasn't taking 220. So this $12 tool, if you can test your stuff, is going to give you a lot more power capacity inside your uh, your cube. So testing that to see if it's actually running at that that amperage it will on fire up when it has to warm up the bulbs and stuff but probably settles down after that so that's our projector let's go to the next thing a laptop sweet goes down here to computer laptop again this is another item that this one laptop which is on all the time it's not always charging that battery at full capacity. So this is going to have a, a pretty high kick on it uh, in the beginning, but then it's going to settle down. What's it running at? Uh, input, 100 to 240 volts AC. Sweet. Oh, I know it's AC. It's 60 hertz, so it just says AC because it's alternating. It hurts. So it's not the output, but the input. And it's at 1.8 amps. So what? Oh, wait. We can't enter 1.8 amps here. We need watts. We need the amps to come out over here. So there's two ways to ballpark this. You could just start guessing at what 1.8 amps is. Maybe it's 100. And just keep seeing that number go up. Or use a little cheater that I put in the bottom of the form over here and type in 1.8 in this amp converter. And it's 198. So we go over and we put in 198. Boom, 1.8. So your uh, laptop charger is now in there as well. And now we have another power supply. But this is just a random weird light thing that we are going to plug in every now and then, but don't need on because it's just taking up power. It's not very bright. It's just kind of cool. It's a weird plant. It vibrates or something. I don't know. Uh, so let's go get it put in there. And this is just a uh, random power supply. We only use one of them. It's going to be on all the time if we use it. And it's rated, wait a minute, I put this one in here on purpose. It's input, again, now has amperage, 0.32 amps. But it also has a wattage rating. This is kind of a neat little clue on that difference between testing and running. So if we look at 0.32 amps in our little converter, that's 35 watts. But this thing's rated for 24 watts. Well, that is its maximum usage. So if you get to the point where you see a wattage and amperage and they don't match up and you're confused about it, it's because the higher number is your maximum, the lower is its average. So we're going to go up to our weird thing. And in this case, I can use what I spit out from my wattage calculator. 35 is its maximum and it's going to run at 24 untested. Look at that. 4.29 amps. My whole grid really is getting close to matching what uh, Rule 34 asked for last year on the calculator. It's uncanny. Um, but then watch me destroy the world with one piece of equipment. A media center power supply. It's 870 watts. Let me get this thing out of here. There we go. 870 watts. It says it over and over and over again. But once again, it's got a contradictory number. 12 amps. I know it's contradictory because, well, divide 12 by 110 and it doesn't make 870. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say uh, media center. I have one of them. I plan on having this media center on all the time. Uh, and it's 870 watts. Notice that that's 7.91 amps, not 12 amps. So I can either go to my calculator or I can do like 1100 zero, zero, 
10, no, 1, 2, 0, 0, mm, getting close, 1, 3, 2, 0, wow, it's almost like I knew what that number was exactly, and then 870 for its operating wattage, the average watts, so all of a sudden I've blown my 4.2 amps out of the water with 12 amps, this thing better be cool, <laughs> whatever this is, because that's getting axed first. It's why it's highlighted in red. Anything that goes in here that's going to be over 700 watts is going to be a major power suck. Um, this had better be a bank of TVs doing multimedia presentations. It better be bringing something to the event other than just taking power. This is a space heater. Uh, bet people better be benefiting from it other than you just getting warm from the light of whatever's coming off of this. So that's, that's the kind of thing where I'm probably going to come in reviewing this and be like, nope, and we're going to get that off of your app uh, unless you uh, really, really, really want that thing and, and can sell us on it. So um, this is inefficient, whatever the heck. I, I, I hope I never see this thing. But again, it says switching power supply. What happens when we bring this guy in? Beep, beep, beep. And it's actually only running at 30. What? 4.56. Big power supplies look mean sometimes, but if they're switching, doing a little bit of testing can get that thing on the grid. So know that there's always a way with proper technology, $12 for this thing, that you can actually figure out what's going on with your space. Uh, and plug it all into one cord and then test it. Like, write it down in the notes. Tested the entire, you know, tested entire thing. Nah. One of my hands is definitely not on the right key. It, you know, just say three amps tested for everything. Anyway, I can't type right now. Um, paying attention to too many things. So that's, that's how you get that in there. If you have a temporary thing, something that's high amperage that you want to turn on and off every now and then, uh, we'll put that down here. That's going to be not toasters and stuff. Um, very simply, not toaster. One of them. How many minutes per day is it going to be online? Um, it's a little bit different than up here. Instead of percentages, we're talking about minutes. I'm going to turn it on five minutes a day to show my friends. And it's rated at uh, 800 watts. So that's 7.27 amp load. It's going to be on every now and then. So now I've got my number four and number five to input into the form. That's it. Now that you've got your form filled out, these are all your loads. You're going to then uh, go to the job form. You're going to read all the stuff that's there, answer the little quizzes, um, check the box that says, I understand this, and otherwise I've signed my life away. And then uh, fill out these, the uh, one, your faction information. It'll be in a drop down box. And then fill out one, two, three, four, and five. Um, there'll be a few more questions in there, uh, mostly about generators. Uh, again, no doubt, no gasoline generators at the uh, in the theme zone at the event, and no generator power um, in the uh, in the theme zone. There'll be some areas, there always are, that are going to be outside of the theme zone, but are part of the theme zone. It's weird to say but areas that are across the road that are still theme zone and it, we can't run wires across the road or above the road for fire reasons. We'll be working with those factions to try to figure out how to generate power at those locations. So if you have a generator, plan on bringing it, put it in your JOT format, not this thing, but the, the JOT format. List what it is so that we know you've got it and we can inspect it and can count on it for powering your faction if that's what you're going to be do using. And we'll be working with you to see if you can work with your neighbors around you to, to do that. Again, that's part of a different process. Go through it when we talk to all the factions online uh, via a big meeting. If that hasn't already happened, we're viewing this. But this is how to fill out this form. I hope it was easy, fun, uh, and uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, at the Neotropolis soon. Please make sure to upload this form with your job form and then print out a copy and have it on site when uh, it's approved because we'll be using that to help figure out what's gone completely wrong with your power should you test above or way below and something seems off. Um, this form is a really great guide for uh, 
letting our folks know what is going on with your space without having to guess and just pull plugs. So thank you very much for being a part of uh, Neotropolis 2024. Thank you so much. This is Coach. Uh, you reach me direct, coach at wastelandweekend.com. My links are in the bio, I think. No, probably not. Anyway, take care. Uh, see you at Neotropolis.